Hey guys, how's it going? This is Carnal Bird 5. Another iteration of the pack and play series for you guys. And we just have one pack to open of the season standout, so let's go ahead and open it and see what we get. Brett Gardner, not what I was looking for. Alright, let's go ahead and get into a game. Our rating is now at 1918, so I'll see you guys at the start of the game. Alright, we are facing Jake Arietta. Opponent has Starling Marte, Ichiro Suzuki, Tulo, Rizzo, Hanley, Ted Williams, Jose Reyes, and Carlos Santana. It's got a lot of speed on the team. Let's do a slider inside. Oh, wow. How did that hit him? That's silly. I shouldn't have hit him. Uh, here we go. Goodness, black. That slider shouldn't have hit him. I executed that perfectly. Of course, he advances a third on it. What the hell? Man, I cannot get... Teams are falling apart right now. He really hasn't hit the ball hard. Wow. Alright. Change up. I don't know what he's looking for. Alright. We can't do much about that. I don't think I should have hit him. I'm not sure why. We are facing Arietta though, who I absolutely hate facing. Let's we'll see if this guy knows how to pitch with him, though. Oh, it lagged. My goodness. Yeah, that definitely uh, jumped a little bit. There we go, cargo. Like I said, don't throw those low sinkers. Those are easy to hit. Didn't even get. Didn't even really hit it that well. That should be over his head. Make he crush that. Mookie never gets a job done for me. That was way inside, though. Good pitch. Little cutter. Oh, wow, umpire. That is a good pitch. Carved him up there. Jesus Christ, game. That's two freebies for Reyes, or Marte. Get it? Thank you. Line out. Better down in here. Nice pitch. All right, he's really late on that. I don't, see, I didn't know if he was just trying to use the park to his advantage and have a late bat with his righties. 
but I think he just has a late bat. Oh, good hit, Kershaw. That's down. This guy definitely should put Ichiro in center or left, so we can cover more ground. Let's go, Mickey. Hit the gap. Ah, uh, Ted. Ted Williams got to that. I thought I hit that hard. Where's that at? That's pretty close to being a center green, but Jake Arrieta's waterlogged baseball is just dies. There we go. He got Hanley at second. Baby Mookie. Let's stay back on it. Get through. Ah. Maybe Hanley up the middle will make a mistake. He didn't. Alright, six hits on Arietta through three, not bad. Three runs. Thank you, three and one. Take your time, Lindor. I will say this. He has worked Kershaw. 73 pitches through four innings. Might only be able to go five or six innings with Kershaw. We've also worked there yet a pretty decent. 58 pitches through three innings. Oh, wow. Oh, I was trying to go with it, but I didn't. I shouldn't have swung with that. <laughs> Gonna try to wear down his lefties, make him use righties. I don't want to sub anybody out. Ooh. Hung it. Ooh. Foul tip. I don't see that too much. Nice. Got away with that one. That was a bad pitch. Are you kidding me? That pitch is up and in, and he hits it oppo? Up and in, just late. Come on, game, fix that bullshit. That should never, ever, ever be a home run. Kershaw didn't pitch bad either. He, I probably gave up one or two hard hit balls. Wow, I swung at that. Thanks. Pitch. Come on, get up. What the hell, bro? What's up with Mookie? You can't hit nothing. Get out of here. Thank you. Hit it hard. Tony Gwynn don't have that oppo power, man. Sit down. Ooh, give me that. Give me that call! Thank you. This guy's getting some ridiculous, ridiculous luck with the calls. Inside out home run. Inside out home run to one of the deepest left fields out of all the stadiums. Get out of here, let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna keep our uh, lefties in. We still have them all. So after Chapman, he's pretty much screwed. Because the only lefties he has are the ones that have no energy. Man, good pitch. I think he's gonna go with the fastball there. Get out of here, let's go. 
care if it's lefty on lefty. Care if our PCI is as small as the pitchers. Get out of here. Let's go, we can hit Chapman. Coming up clutch against these lefties. Get out of here. Let's go. Off the foul pole. Let's go. Cano going three here. Yeah, uh, he's got three. He's got three. I think it's time to take Chapman out there, buddy. That's gone. Let's go. Bats came alive. Let's go. Out of the stadium. That was a big inning. What did we score there? Seven runs in one inning. Off some really, really good pitchers. Good pitch. That is so dirty. He's so late. He pretty much takes till he gets two strikes, and then he has a slow bat, just trying to stay alive. Good pitch. I hate how we're just giving them a run right now. Nice throw, Lindor. I think this uh, pitcher here has a lot of stamina too, so he could work as a long reliever. That should be game. Good game. <sighs> Let me talk about my opponent a little bit. Although I was getting a little bit of a little bit frustrated, I'll have to say he had a pretty good game plan. He was patient. I give him that. When I was getting frustrated, I wasn't getting frustrated at my opponent. He didn't really cheese or anything. In fact, he didn't cheese at all. It just kind of ticked me off the game, gave him that inside-out home run, so I just want to clear that up. Yes, of course, I was a little bit salty on that, because I was trying to get a good game of Kershaw, and if we look at his box score, 5.2 innings, 6 hits allowed, 4 in runs, no walks, 7 strikeouts. So you take no walks, 7 strikeouts, and only 6 hits, 5 and 2 thirds, that's not a bad game, but you have to realize he only gave up a couple hard-hit balls, 2, maybe 3 hard-hit balls, if that. A lot of those were just jammed hits. So that's why it is so difficult to pitch a lefties. I don't know. I think that if the Kershaw, uh, this rookie Kershaw had better per nines, I would have had a little bit more success. Ho Shaver came in, did a great job. Same for Deekman. By the time Deekman came in, he was pretty much over. But Ho Shaver came in and did a really good job. Two strikeouts there. Uh, my opponent, like I said, he was patient. He had a good approach. I respect that. Most people are super aggressive. So when I was frustrated, I wasn't frustrated by his game, gameplay or the way he plays. It's more frustrated with the gameplay engine and some of those hits. Uh, my opponent was a 1903 player, so he was a pretty good player. We move up to 1929, and we'll see what we get. Brett Cecil could be nice for our bullpen. Nope. And that's going to do it. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. This is Carl number 5 signing out. Peace.